So you want to buy a new GPU but you don't know which one will fit your PCIe time 16 better? Don't worry, I'll get you covered in this quick video. But remember, time is relative so don't comment down there if it's 20 minutes long. Okay, let's say that I like you and I don't want to waste your time. Go to the comment section, you'll find a table that has time timestamps in it so you'll be able to escape wherever you want. For those of you that just want a graphics card so that your computer can turn on, I got you covered. Just buy an Intel processor without the letter F in it or an AMD with the letter G. They have an integrated graphics so you'll be fine without spending extra on another dedicated hardware. How cool is that? But remember, you won't be able to get my 1080p resolution and your graphics settings will be near impossible to be more than medium if you want to play decently. Windows can also feel slow to move around if you use high resolution monitors and be sluggish if you use dual monitors setup. I myself is using this kind of configuration right now. It's not the best thing to work with and you have to make sure that you are in dual channel to have the best performance possible and have at least 8 gigs of RAM. One part of all use of the system and a small portion of it will be used by the integrated graphics. They use the main memory as a frame buffer, so the more they have, the better it'll be for you. With them, you'll be able to edit 1080p videos and export them in high resolutions. You can also do 3D works too, but not to accelerate your work. Now, if you're still broke and you still want to buy a good dedicated graphics card, the only thing I'd suggest is to check for a used one on eBay. You could get something new for this price range, but it's not going to beat what you could get off of Amazon around $100. Yes, you'll be able to find a GTX 1060 or a RX 570 or 580 for this price, but open your eyes by doing so. Being scammed is also a thing if you're blind. If you want to buy a somewhat decent graphics card to be able to run 1080p games, the one I suggest is the NVIDIA GTX 1660. The GTX 1660 is the sweetest spot of NVIDIA's entire graphics card lineup. For 260, you can get a 1080p 60fps experience with almost any game you want to play. This updated card features NVIDIA's faster GDDR6 video memory, which opens it up for double the memory bandwidth to make it 1.5 times faster than the last gen GTX 1060. It might feature the same CUDA cores count and clock speed of the original GTX 1660, but this card will get you more FPS in games and if you do 3D graphics, the faster 6 gigs GDDR, GDD, GDDR6 memory will make you fly. Now, what's better than that, you may ask? Well, a GTX 1660 Ti? Nope, the RTX 2060 Super? Nope, for around the same price, forget ray tracing because you get a better performance using a RX 5700 XT. And while you add it, if you need more VRAM, then you'll have it. The RX 15700 XT have 8GB of GDDR6 memory, but if you want those RT cores, pick a NVIDIA RTX 2060 Super. Now, for la crème de la crème, si vous voulez... Oh, my bad. If you want to play at 4K and more than 60 FPS, pick an RTX 2080. Yes, I said 2080 and not 2080 Ti or Super, because the gain in performance will be marginal.
and you'll pay a bigger amount of cash. The full implementation of NVIDIA's TU 104 GPU, the RTX 2080 Super, uh, Super Boost, 3070 Tsukuda cores with a boost clock of 1815 MHz, 48 RT cores for ray tracing, 192 texture units, and 8 gigs of GDDR6 clocked at a speed of 15.5 gigabits per second. On the other end, the older RTX 2080 has 2944 CUDA cores and 46 RT cores and a boost clock of 1710 MHz, 184 texture units, and 8 gigs of GDDR6 at 14 gigs per second. So nothing that will give you a additional 60 frames per second but if you're thinking that you've made it till here and it's not $100 that will stop you then pick a RTX 2080 Super and please allow yourself to flex a little bit on your friends you deserve it thanks guy for watching this video I will see you soon until then take yourself out like my last videos take yourself out that's weird <laughs>